As we approach our fourth week in Thailand, it's now time for us to head to Koh Tao. The island is famously known as one of, if not the best and cheapest places to learn to dive in the world. Over the next week, we'll be completing our open water diving course and enjoying the famous Songkran Water Festival. This is Koh Tao. Our adventure begins the night before with Suitani, where we'd spend the evening eating and enjoying the night market before catching an overnight ferry to Koh Tao. Maybe that sounds good at time. These cute little bunks. Bunky besties. So one of our favourite things about Thailand is that everything is spelt wrong everywhere and we found a nice top. Ever since the night gave me Biak eyes, the future of those eyes is yours alone. <laughs> <laughs> Just popped to a little shop for Sandy to buy some sunglasses. Pair number four of the trip so far. Um, apparently, if they only cost two pounds, they're prone to breaking, which who would have thought? They're not the best. So I'm just leaving the immigration office now and that was super easy. Pay 1900 baht, fill out a couple of forms. They did the photocopying for me, which I didn't even do. And within about 35 minutes, I'm done. Now I can save for another 30 days in Thailand. Let's go. This is what happens when you pay Aussies a beer pong. Let me explain who these two Aussie Lengers are. This is Dom and Hayden. We met them the week before in Kalsok and liked them so much we decided to do our diving course together. So you'll be seeing their faces a lot this vlog. So let's hear a cheer for Dom and Hayden. And so the next day marked the start of our three day diving course. By the end of two sessions of theory and six dives, we'd be certified open water divers, allowing us to dive to 18 meters anywhere in the world. Our instructor would be the legendary Francisco, a man of class, skill and all round exquisite vibes. There was no scuba dive filming on day one as we had to focus on diving and learning to use all the equipment. However, at the start of day two is where it got really interesting. So it's day number two of our diving course and today we're going to do some more skills before heading out for a second dive. <laughs> Lads are ready. Ready to go. Ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go. About to head on dive number two to White Rock. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Seven AM, day three of diving. I'm about to go on our first dive. Whole gang suited up. Let's go. Our first dive went to 17.7 meters and 42 minutes. Good fun. Thank <laughs> you. 
just finished our final dive, saw a sick puffer fish, which was huge. Now we're going to do an exam this even, afternoon before being certified open water divers. The gang is logging the dive. <laughs> So this afternoon we spent fully revising for the big exam. Much revision was done by everybody and now it's time for the exam. Everyone's feeling a little bit nervous. Stomachs are feeling a bit dodgy. Hands are shaking a little bit, but it's go time now. Look at the team go, 100% for the gang. <laughs> <laughs> On the way to our hostel. We want to get a taxi and we saw these golf carts and we low-key thought like, could we get a ride? And we could. 200 baht, four pounds. Nah, take it. Oh, don't run into the back of us. <laughs> Can take my shade off. See you later. <laughs> oh, no, she's oh, no, just... oh, no. Fuck, we got a stalker, mate. You're gonna have to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> So today is Sok Kwan Festival in Thailand, which is a massive water festival. Everyone basically parties, has a good time. So just chilling with the boys now. And the plan is to head to like a party, I think we're going to now. You walk through the streets and everyone squirts through the water, so it's pretty fun. And we've got the, the class little backpacks in action as well. Courtesy of the boys. You ready to go on it? After a week in Kotal, a lot of diving and a lot of partying, it's now time to leave and the next stop is Koh Phangan. Where we'll be doing more partying. Yeah, more partying. 